Yeah. Hey, man, this is Tommy Chung, and you're uh, listening and watching Harris is drinking again. Sounds like a ghetto movie. What's cracking, y'all? It's Lil Kelpie from the 1503, a.k.a. Kelpie to P, a.k.a. Call me whatever you want, just don't call me broke. And I'm fucking with the Harris is Drinking Again podcast, one of the first podcasts or platforms to put me on. Y'all better stay following them, watching them. Stay tuned for more shit. Big things happening in the future. Harry's drinking again? Well, I like to watch baseball live. Yeah, Hawaii, right? Mm-hmm. You like Revy? Nah, I don't even understand that shit, bro. Hawaiian. Uh, yeah, I ain't Hawaiian. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight up Filipino, oh, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What you like, I like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back in full effect. On the Harris is Drinking Again podcast, episode TNR 022 Zero Deuce Deuce. Blah, blah, blah. Up in your face. Full effect, full effect, 22 weeks in a row. Unofficially sponsored by the High West Whiskey. Let's get it cracking, let's get it cracking. Another edition of the Harry's Drink It Again podcast. I am your host, Harry Too Scary. The, the clips is my bread and butter. That's where, you know, we make up for stuff on the back end. Even though, yeah, the show might be a little all over the place. You can go find some better content on YouTube, more professional, this and that. But at the end of the day, we're just people trying to do stuff, do what we love. You know, we love music. We love uh, editing. We love photography, video, beats, anything to do with this music stuff, anything to do with creativity. We're here. Again, this vision can't stop, won't stop. I will continue. And I'm going to I'm going to hold it down as long as until until people other people start coming around. Damn, this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. He's still doing it. He Oh, now he's making this move. Man, now he's making this move. He's trying different setups. How you but, doing, brother? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good now that uh, this show has started, man. First of all, I want just to let the, the viewers know that um, Dakota is a very organized person. He has a nonchalant but very organized way and system of doing stuff. And that's exactly... That's, that works for me, and I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna open up with this question. Um, for yours, for your, for your situation, how how do you think in your situation? How can you? How do you think you can get better? Well, for me, when I when I you know sit back, hone in on my own thoughts and my spirit, and look and look within, and getting better for me is increasing my self discipline, reading books. Feeding myself full of knowledge. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm at I'm at this place where I'm trying to harden my mindset. You know, I feel like I'm almost there. I'm pretty rounded out. But there's this there's this mental edge that I know the next man has over me. You know, something about you know helping others. You know, like when you can when you can uh, make yourself useful by by not just asking like what can you do for me, but what can I do for you? You know. Um, how can I help you promote something? I'm trying to basically figure out all those things that are gonna round me out, man. And time increase my value, speaking better, uh, you know, showing that I have some sort of wisdom. I, I actually, you know what? You, the first thing that you said there really caught my attention because you said self discipline. And if we say that, really, I was kind of thinking about that too. Uh, I'm going, man, there's to get better, really, you know, I mean, you can't control anyone else, but the only ones you can control is you, you know, but self-discipline, I think, is the number one thing on the chart there, because as easy as that is said, it is so hard to be disciplined, man. You know, it's just, I just have to be, I have to want to do it, period. Like, if we're going to the studio, if we're making music, if we're doing anything that is in my top 10 of hobbies or interests like i'm there if i say i'm gonna be there eight eight i'm gonna be there eight right and if i'm gonna oh, if I'm i know there, i know you are i'm gonna call you the hey man if i can traffic i'll be i'm gonna be, I'm, I'm on my way I'm, I'm like 20 minutes late plus i gotta yeah. take a piss and, and fuck it i'm gonna stop and get a drink but i'll be there i'm 20 minutes late but i'll be there but when it's like you know uh, hey you want to go uh 
Well, yeah, you know, like when you go into like a family gathering or a friend's baby shower or something. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, I don't it's know. Thursday at three, and it's like, uh, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, sure, but like I have no problem canceling on a, somebody's birthday party. I have no problems like when they go canceling on something like that, like this right here, like what we're doing right now. The minute I wake up. <laughs> I'm already thinking about it in my mind. Like, okay, I'm playing the scene in my mind. Okay, yeah. You know, editing these videos, bro. There's some things in my speech where I'm just like, yeah, you gotta get better. You know? When you edit, when when you edit us, how much cursing do we? How much cursing is every other word is an f word is an f bomb? When Digo, it's so it's pretty bad. Like, it, like it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it is. Pretty bad. Like, I don't think we're gonna get no daytime TV show role. <laughs> And sometimes I'm sitting there editing it, and I'll I'll actually like I'll bleep an f bomb out. Yeah, and I know that there's like 17 more before that bleep, but sometimes it's that it's the way that it was said. Like it, it's just like damn, it's sometimes it's so vile. Like oh my god, like, nah. I mean I wouldn't say over the top yeah, cursing, like you know, but the likes, the ums, I, oh, I catch myself doing that. You know, oh, I didn't, the ums, I didn't ums. know I say. I don't know. I say those that much, and if I'm if I'm speaking on something directly, I don't uh -huh. say. It. But it's when we're you know I'm like, yeah, and, and I kind of rambling that it's like um like uh yo and it kills me inside. I'm like stupid, un illiterate piece of shit. You know those um those podcasts like do you watch these podcasts and they they're sponsored by you know like Manscape or uh, Me Undies or something Manscape. Let's the let's the podcast just basically like you like so you have to say these key words, but you can promote it in whatever way you want. Like no no woman wants some smelly balls, so make sure you shave your nuts with Manscape. Like you know, go to Manscape right now to get the cleanest, freshest balls and use and use promo code Hot Boxing. I love new media, and this is new media, my friend. Yeah. Imagine if we were the makers of Manscape. I mean, there's nothing more uh, worthy than your own customers talking about your product. I mean, when you're incarcerated, you have time in your mind to process the stuff of music, what you want to do. And maybe in your cell, you're over there, like, just on by yourself, this and this and that. And you have a cellmate that's, hey, man, I like that rock. It will do. You know, it's like, it's just amazing, you know? So to me, art, there's no age limit, man. Going back to what you're saying. This show is a perfect, perfect platform for that because we're welcoming people to come in here and damn it, we want to just do something. <laughs> but that would be a dream come true for me. You, uh, J. James, Jonah, uh, Dove, come together for some crazy reason and produce kind of, some kind of music, whatever it is that you guys want to produce. I know it's going to come out soft. I know it. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So many times I've been doubted. I would just ignore it. Now it's something I won't tolerate. No, there's no way that I'll allow it. They ain't got no faith in me. They don't think I'm capable. I'ma show them they don't know a thing about the way I roll. Say yes to my poetry. Reload some poetry. It sprouts quicker than seeds watered down with growing trees. Leaning towards what's beneficial when life gets bubble. Something ugly that means that problems they barely get noticed. Don't take a shot what you sip because you're and the last track i only heard god damn you know that was only the yeah. it was hard bars but there was no yeah. cursing there's no cursing that's i didn't hear the cool. f word ray that's what i'm missing no. I didn't, you're nigga oh no. my. but you're the type of you're you're the type of artist to where it's like see i'm going through something that, in, in my life and i go drive somewhere maybe out on the waterfront and I put your music on and I just like digest it all and then just like play it and listen to the lyrics. I want it because I don't know about you, but I, I, I look at I look at lyrics as poetry, man. It's like, yeah. And what I love about it is that you can put layers, layers and la layers of, of ideas and, and philosophy within the lyrics of the song that you're the kind of you're the kind of artist where someone will you know what when i'm driving or when i'm just focusing i'm working out or i'm just kind of like meditating to yeah. put your song and just freaking just zone out and just freaking focus hey, on that's all that. 
that's all I would wish to be, man. Even some far off, like, yeah, I play only when I'm feeling this mood. I would love that. I don't want to be in the fucking no pop shit. I don't want to do that. Nah. I never conform. That's not my, that's not me. That's not nothing. That's why I get frustrated. Oh, you just make it so, make it better. No, 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 no. I just, I simply make what I make. Shake that, shake that, make it clap. Ass fat, ass fat, make it clap. Ass fat, make it clap. Ass fat, ass fat, ass fat, ass fat, ass fat, ass fat, ass fat. Harry's drinking again? (laughs) Harry's drinking again? Thank you.